Today, our Holy Mother of the Church celebrates the feast of St. Guy. St. Guy was born in a country near Brussels, of poor but virtuous and consequently content parents. They could not afford to give their son a school education, but this did not hinder them from instructing him early in life in Christian virtue and the practice of Christian faith. They would often repeat to him the lesson which all Tobias gave his son, We shall have many good things if we fear God. Happily enough, young guy loved poverty and learned to live ever contentedly bearing all hardships. The charity which he had for his neighbor was no less due. He divided his patterns with the poor and often fed them while he himself fasted. A wanderer in his youth, Guy arrived at Laken near Brussels where he showed such a devotion before the shrine of Our Lady that the priest there besought him to stay on and serve the church. Thenceforth, his happiness lay largely in being always in the church, sweeping the floor, dusting the ceiling, polishing the altars and cleansing the sacred vessels and still finding both time and means to befriend the needy. His almsgiving became so famous that a merchant of Brussels came to Laken and offered him a share in his business. Guy could not bear the thought of having to leave the church premises, but the offer seemed providential, the scope for charity bright, and he at last accepted it. Their ship, however, was lost on the first voyage itself, and he returned to Laken only to find his place already filled by someone. The rest of his life was one long penance for his inconsistency. About the year 1033, Sensing his imminent end, he returned to his own country. Hospitalized because of illness brought on by the fatigue of his journeys and other hardships, he soon yielded his soul to God and was buried in the cemetery of the canons there. The numerous miracles that took place at his grave led to the translation of his relics to a shrine. Reflection To God glory, to my neighbor happiness, to me hardship. Sin Guy, pray for us. Amen.